South and North coming together, sir. Yes. What a pleasure to see you in Lucknow. And that was at a bookstore. My pleasure, yeah. absolutely. So, how was your journey to Lucknow? Very comfortable. Yeah. But you know, I want to actually quickly uh, tell that you know, I wanted to come to Universal Books. Yes. I have never been here. Mm. I have heard about it a lot. Because in every town, the, not in every town, in a few towns, there are the legacy booksellers. I mean, you yeah. probably can count them in your hands Absolutely. in terms of how many Absolutely. of them have survived. Yeah. Yeah. And somewhere the book culture, the reading culture, while we attribute the digital technology to its kind of dilution, the fact of the matter is that my local bookstore doesn't exist in the way that it used to exist. Yeah. The bookseller who knew the books yeah. inside the store is really not there. Yeah. And the bigger bookstores really don't know what books are, nor do they kind of have the kind of love and passion that you bring, yeah. you know, to a space like this. So I think, uh, what, this is 90 years old? Yeah, I, I you know, uh, sir, I, beautifully I, you have put, uh, this is a business of passion. Mm. It's a business of knowledge. And uh, as when we compare to a new bookseller, mm. to an old bookseller, mm. uh, you know, you cannot compare that ideology mm. because when we talk about four generations into one mm. business, that mm. means 90 years, we've been here in Lucknow. Uh. And we've seen families, their children growing up, their children coming to us. Mm. So it's like families and families and families coming to us over yeah. generations. And uh, a, a book selling mm. is a, uh, it's a business of passion, knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. And today, as you say, you go to a new bookstore or a, a bookstore in a mall. Mm. There are people mm. serving you, but they don't know their knowledge. They Absolutely. just kept the books. Yeah. Uh, impersonalized yeah. and whether you like it or you don't like it you pick up you don't pick up they're not concerned yeah. Yeah. for us uh. when a customer comes to us he's mm. not a customer he's a a, a, a a person who's grown up with us yeah. and if he comes and says do you have this book mm. and even if we don't have this book mm. we ensure that we get that book mm. and and uh, suppose he comes and says do you have books on meditation mm. unless until you don't know books on meditation mm. or you're mm. not well read mm. how can you pass on that knowledge to uh, uh, your clients or mm. your customers or students. Yeah. We get so many students all across and they love to sit and very interesting sir uh, uh, as a matter of uh, ideology mm. we don't object children. Mm. We don't object uh, youngsters, we don't mm. object elders and they love coming uh, sitting, yeah, sitting down for hours mm. and we also offer them coffee and tea mm. if they want to mm. and uh, they can make notes, they can make uh, uh, you know uh, click from the books we don't object. You know, the, the, our main essence is yeah. the more you spread knowledge, yeah. the be it's better for you. Yeah. And and uh, this the new cult mm. that the new market is killing the corner bookshops, which mm. I've been always talking about. Mm. Save your corner bookshop because mm. they are a part of your DNA of a particular city. Yeah. And and as they say, if you don't have a bookshop in a city, mm. you lose out on a culture. Absolutely. You lose out on an ideology, you lose out on vision mm. because a bookshop gives a vision and an idea to these youngsters yeah. to move forward. Yeah. And as they say, books are the best friends yeah. uh, uh, for all of us. We must not uh, let go of that aspect. And uh, people like you, who are stalwarts, so I'm, I've, I saw you at the conference and what, how beautifully you said that you have to feel emotion, you have to feel an emotion, you have to feel a book, you have to feel an action. Uh, uh, that is missing, you know. Mm. People are becoming too commercial. Yeah. People are becoming too, uh, you know, uh, methodical. They, they want to earn a fast buck out of this business. I must tell all the book lovers and all the people who are hearing uh, through you, mm. uh, it, books cannot be traded. Mm. It can be felt. It mm. can be kept. It can be, it's like a, 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 a kind of an asset to you. Because it, it, the books go flow down through generations. Uh, you know, I still know a lot of customers who I interact with they have actually kept their books like babies Absolutely, and and, yeah. and they, they, they preserve it, they, they do the anti-insect uh, treatments yeah. and over generations they, they, they want to gift it to the young generation yeah. and I know uh, a person who's been into the services, administrative services in fact uh, he was very upset one of the days mm. and he came to us and he says God, I'm very upset, mm. I've lost my wealth, mm. I thought it's actually wealth mm. And he was saying, I'm heartbroken. And, uh, you know, I said, sir, what happened? How did this happen? Mm. He says, can you imagine the library from my childhood, mm. which I stocked up, kept like a baby, 
one of the fine days i had a short circuit hmm. and everything got oh, burned okay. and he was so upset he just hmm. got up from my childhood till now yeah. whatever books i've read i've properly cataloged it hmm. kept it which row which uh, rack hmm. and it all got burned so that's a passion of yeah. people i know so and 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 sir you're so well traveled I, i i would like to know what is your free factor because me being in lucknow which is the epic center of mm. uttar pradesh mm. political movements it's a city of culture and heritage mm. uh, we call it ganga jamuna tehsil mm. uh, uh, still lucknow preserves that intellectual cap mm-hmm. alabad preserves okay. their intellectual cap yeah uh, banaras preserves their intellectual cap yeah. but since you travel what's your because you know the grassroots report you know as booksellers we can i am trying to do my best to get leaders back into the forum mm. but what is your outlook on on to this see somewhere or the other you know i was just uh, saying that uh, in india there was a, probably a period when this whole idea of books and this is in the recent past the idea of books as a critical part of your growing up kind of got into a slightly diluted mess and that's the outcome once again as i say of the fact that the bookseller actually drives passion for reading in many ways yeah so if you look at a strand bookstore in mumbai or you know yeah. these were owner driven uh, places they were not corporate places where somebody owned it somebody else did the selling i mean the owners themselves owned it and so that localized thing that you talk about that local bookstore that you talk about and each of us in growing up had the local library had the local bookstore you know we did not travel you know a long distance to a mall to find a bookstore uh, i think some of these things have uh, uh, disappeared i am not i can't say for certainty as to how many of them will come back because some things just get lost and i i hope that i am wrong that bookstores come back because to a certain extent in the us and europe the physical book reading culture has not gone away you will you will still find uh, an air traveler there carrying a physical heavy book and you're saying ki ye aapke weight ke upar kyun add karke aap travel karte ho but that's what he wants to read that's not he does not want to read from the digital phone whereas in india you don't you don't see as yeah, many yeah. printed books in the flight you know to me that's a bit of an indicator ki printed books kitna carry kar rahe hain aur kaha you know what is the source of the reading so i really don't know i can i don't have a clear answer to your question in terms of uh, where things are where things are moving but uh, just a kind of a great gratitude to people like you who keep that flag flying you know uh, an immense amount of respect for the family tradition because once again if you're saying that fourth generation is now entering you know universal books it also talks about ki what is that culture in the family itself, yeah. you know how that has also been nurtured to some extent you know these are old fashioned ideas which are so precious but i am so happy that you know you are thriving in it so um, uh, you know <clears throat> i've been always asking questions to myself as a businessman and as a bookseller mm. and there are two different ideologies yeah. when you are a bookseller yeah. <laughs> your ideology complete changes mm. but as a businessman mm. your ideology complete changes because you're talking about monetary uh, okay. returns yeah. and we all saw the <clears throat> covid how many booksellers shut mm. the shops mm. old old booksellers in delhi bombay mm. calcutta they actually shut their books off because they couldn't sustain on uh, their flow of income yeah because it is all it's always a marginal business yeah. no it's yeah. never a business where you are you know piling tons of money yeah somewhere and, and in fact in fact you know <coughs> i have been really voicing my father mr chandra prakash has mm. been really voicing this opinion out in fact uh, the book federation of india mm. gave a letter to the president mm. of our country mm. actually you know what has happened is when amazon came in mm. and uh, okay online is very welcome mm-hmm. for us mm-hmm. online is the new format of mm-hmm. business we saw also mm-hmm. covid you know in, in coming into mm-hmm. but i we couldn't understand how could they mm-hmm. kill the business with rate cutting mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. as you know it's a stipulated uh, mrp correct, product correct. with the limited margins which yeah. the retailer gets yeah. and when you compare that margin to the price offered on the amazon mm-hmm. it's disastrous mm-hmm. now i would just give an example mm. suppose you are my regular visitor to my outlet mm. and you say gorov i have got complete faith over generation mm. i am coming to your shop i let me buy some good books mm. so you pick up good books mm. and you come to the cash counter mm. 
and by my goodwill gesture mm. i give you a 10% discount mm. depending upon my uh, yeah. margins and he said thank you so much it's mm. been very nice of you you mm. you know gave us the books and we got a discount also mm. and you go back home mm. and your child is waiting for you and says dad what do you what did you get you and he says are how much did you get for wait a minute let me check 30% discount now now uh, suddenly you say i have known gaurav for over generations uh-huh. and he has cheated me uh-huh. now now that Im- impact of amazon coming into the forum is very welcome yeah. but the price war what yeah. they've created yeah. that's not welcome yeah. one they have killed the retail trade yeah. and and i'm surprised that even the supreme court of india which has actually said no to uh, monopolistic uh, businesses yeah actually they are uh, these hubs are becoming monopolistic mm. uh, and uh, why should they kill or who is given the permission to make the books sell below the market price or below the cost price also which is coming to a books mm. you must have seen a book being sold at a price uh, uh, mrp 300 being sold at 150 rupees mm. now how does a bookseller uh, do that yeah. why did the amazon a uh, uh, offline bookstore mm. shut back shut mm. after opening uh, when the bookstore was open they actually had to shut down because they, could, yeah. they couldn't yeah. sustain the onslaught yeah. but the same amazon on online is a super success yeah so when you so people what they have started doing is they come to our out, outlet they pick up a book yeah. they see the book they note note the book yeah. they go back home they yeah. order online yeah. and uh, we uh, yeah. are at loss yeah so what we have started doing is we created a new cult mm. we have tied up with publishers and authors and mm. over the years you know so many authors mm. Mm. so we encourage authors coming to our uh, mm. you know bookstore they do a book signing mm. talking with the children mm. talking with the audience mm. like today we having vikram vikram sampath to our outlet oh really yeah when is he coming today at 6:30 oh, uh, okay. huh. uh, and and <laughs> and uh, he's going to interact with us okay. wow. but but the only issue like we had amish huh. we had uh, jad durjoy datta huh. just two days back okay and today we have vikram sampat uh-huh. so we are trying to do our best yeah. but i am surprised uh, the government talks about preserving the culture through books uh-huh. government talks about the new syllabuses coming the nep yeah. Yeah. which has come into the yeah. uh, this these are all at the end of the day it's related to books correct okay correct. Correct. children come back to books they come back to bookshops yeah. but then why can't they see open a uh, fact that these uh, online stores uh are most welcome to operate in india mm. we got no objection but why are they doing such mal practices where it is destroying a corner bookstop which has been there for generations mm. Mm. how can a bookseller sustain when a child compares the rate offline and online mm. Mm. and as soon as, as soon as you start comparing mm. you a, a bookseller is seen as a cheater mm. they say itna margin hai. Now that is a point where uh, people like you and everybody have been talking. My father has been talking on mm. open forums. Mm. Ki why a bookseller looks like a cheater? Mm. He's not a cheater. He's working on a limited margin. Okay. Personalized, giving his ten hours every day. Yeah. This business cannot be given to somebody yeah. and say give it to a manager and run because this is like like we said. You're sitting in the store from morning. Self-driven, yeah. Okay, okay. It's self-driven business, <clears throat> and and you would like to come and meet the person who is a bookseller. Yeah. actually mm. you're not coming to a bookstore just you like to also know the book book owner yeah. like we had mr ram advani ji mm. very old stalwart mm. yeah. and people never went to a bookstore just to for his visit but people went to meet him yeah. so that he could learn more out of him you know uh, so i have always um, uh, you know uh, in this generation of uh, fast book selling kindle came in uh, we thought we are going to do his business but somewhere along the line we were very strong at a grassroots kindle came and went back mm. people are not fed up with uh, you know uh, digital, a digital uh, yeah. thing they want to have a physical feel of the book yeah. so i would request through your medium and uh, you have been talking so much about feel of the book uh, and actually you're doing a, you are an inspiration to booksellers who indirectly you're trying to tell the children go and pick up a book mm. go and feel a book go and see a bookstore so which has become a rare commodity i think another 10 years if it continues like this mm. like like the tiger became a rare commodity save the tigers yeah. soon a campaign will come save the booksellers of this country yeah. and can you imagine a country without bookshops mm. is like a soul missing 
a book is a soul yeah. and soul if it misses how will you educate the young uh, mindset yeah. and you don't want to give encouragement yeah. and uh, the interesting part is neither we fit into the medium scale industries yeah. neither we fit into the proper retail segment yeah. Yeah. it's just a business which is just sustaining on its own merit yeah. and we talk about the big store words visiting booksellers they give big big lectures in a bookstore but they never understand a pain of a bookseller what a pain uh, uh, he's going through sustaining this such a big campus mm. of uh, employees mm. uh, getting such a beautiful massive display of books mm. and yet he's on the onslaught receiving end of uh, these so called digital media yeah. uh, digital uh, e-commerce sites yeah. where they destroying the business setups see you know uh, gaurav all of these at some level you have to take it in a very uh, what do you call it uh, take a very spiritual approach to it because you can't be a bookseller unless you're yeah, spiritual yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it would probably have cycles where you know there are uh, short term pressures which lead to certain different habits i really think that uh, in the last let us say at least 3 4 5 5 years i see a bit of a research it's at least just a few green shoots we have to nurture it a little bit more so that now the <coughs> reader is looking for physical books see that's the first stage that you yeah, have to go through yeah and then i'm sure that as even the nascent reader becomes more mature he will realize the value of the space that you provide the experience that you provide and hopefully bookstores will you know start coming back again the one thing which really happened was that the corporate the books uh, stores are not successful yeah they actually not only killed an existing and thriving industry but they themselves did not demonstrate some alternate model which succeeded beyond a few years you know so about 10 12 years they were thriving but after that all of them you know when we sell to a big major corporate bookstore we worry about the payment we worry about returns we worry about all kinds yeah. of things but yet i would say that in publishers themselves must recognize that the small bookstore is what is going to ensure that publishing as a business this is things yes you know so we also need to think about you know where is my money being made and where is my market being made exactly nurtured, you know? exactly so nurturing the market becomes an equally important a part of the responsibility of the publisher as well you know in terms of supporting outlets that are uh, we traditional saw, that we are saw, physical sir, uh, during covid trust me westland shut down yeah the one of the biggest uh, uh, publishers, publishers yeah. Uh, we saw. I was speaking to Google Bay <laughs> Press people. Yeah. <clears throat> so many distributors. Yeah. They had such bad times. In fact, uh, publishers who are stalwarts in our country, yeah. uh, they had tough time getting their books uh, out. Yeah. In fact, they stopped printing. They yeah. they said, "No, let us go very slow." Yeah. So <clears throat> the sentiments were very poor. Yeah. Uh, we came out of COVID. Touch wood, the economy is reviving back. Yeah. People are coming back to bookstores. Yeah. In fact, for two year, two and a half years, we didn't see children at a bookstore. Yeah. Can you imagine how will we survive? <laughs> a, a, a book without children is like soul missing completely. So when we saw them coming back, it was such a sigh of relief, and we actually held on to these children. Please come back again. Please come back again. So we had to restart of our 90 years experience again, like from scratch zero. So coming back to educating the children, please come back. The parents yeah. said no, no, they can't come out. No, no, don't touch this. Yeah. And and. Uh, coming to a bookshop and if you don't touch a book huh. come on uh, it was like a news to me come on don't touch this you'll get uh, infection don't touch this is dirty you know that word dirty and books <laughs> and dust books and dust go hand in hand means Absolutely. wherever the books are dust has to be there yeah. and and uh, they are the natural insulators during winter time yeah. if you come to a bookshop during winters huh. you don't need a heater <laughs> Okay. because it is already so warm and so cozy that you want to spend more time in a bookshop you want to have a nice coffee go through a nice book and uh, get educated and get to know which are the new books coming in and interestingly sir very interesting the two year shift as you said that the people are coming back to bookshop is also that people are now wanting to be more of authors yeah i've seen people in sporting arena i, I know a couple of people yeah. from sports film industry yeah. uh, administrative yeah. they all want to come back to writing <coughs> they all want to be known as authors yeah. and 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 if you see the new age publishers which are coming in the mm. self publishers mm. which in the countries erupting in a very big business yeah. so 
those people are definitely giving a window of hope hmm. to uh, so called the young authors huh. but their work is so mediocre they these are these are i think anything nascent will have to go through a period of chaos uh, exactly before it settles yeah. down but self publishing will a few author uh, good authors hmm. will get an opportunity who otherwise you know we publishers never have time to look at yeah. whatever it is it's become a far more democratic setup it's a little bit like the youtube phenomenon where some really good artists who otherwise you would never have known have a similarly one can hope that self publishing also will result in the emergence of some really good authors through a very democratic process and what is right now a lot of content mediocre content and mm-hmm. some you know really excellent content inside that the excellent content will start by rising up yeah. i mean no it is doing that in fact in fact when i was talking to amish he was here mm-hmm. and then to draw that tie was mm-hmm. here and we have become sampath coming today yeah. you know these people are actually talking about good content mm-hmm. and it shows in their sales yeah. when you have a good content yeah. automatically readers know that this is a good content and it will yeah. sell automatically yeah. Yeah. uh um, uh the war today sir is uh, through you i would like to know because what do you feel future of bookshops now coming into in this country right now for the next 10 years on young generations who want to come into book selling mm. what's your advice to them because i really would love to uh, know from you a, a stalwart like you giving your advice to people who want to come into this trade see one of the things is that at least as far as children's books is concerned where uh, we are strongly a presence is simply that the book the feel the touch and feel of a book is something that a 4 year old 5 year old 6 year old still absolutely yeah. enjoys it is completely different from the experience of seeing something on the digital space you can consume there also but i'm sure that the consumption here will keep rising uh, what we need to uh, be looking out for is the fact that once again the bookstore must be easily accessible true one of the things that we may have to proactively do because it's not as if without uh, doing a certain amount of work we are going to be able to you know just look at a bright future that may have to do a little bit with uh, working closer more closely with schools more working more closely with parents getting uh, the bookstore to be a picnic destination for a classroom to perfect. come perfect i, I you know uh, i love this word picnic destination yeah. Yeah. because you know very interesting sir um, few schools in lucknow uh, in fact they are made in mandatory mm. for the children mm. to do a one day visit to the bookshop very good and Wonderful. and you know it is so nice the entire shop <laughs> is full of children <laughs> and uh, they are guided by three teachers uh-huh. and you know it looks like a picnic actually yeah. i yeah. love the word picnic visit yeah. to a bookshop yeah. you know i wish this culture can be you know brought in yeah. properly yeah. it gives a lot of encouragement and obviously a child at that young age yeah. uh, they don't know what bookshops yeah. are they, yeah. they, they they just feel it's a a chocolate store because yeah. lot of children come over here and says we have chocolates huh. uh, i said no this is <laughs> not a chocolate shop become. yeah so now imagine a bookshop yeah. has now a, a, a thing of a general merchant shop yeah so that is not what we want yeah. we don't want to become a general merchant shop yeah. there are general merchant shops they are most welcome yeah. but we are hardcore booksellers and book selling cannot deviate we can see, merge there, things see, there aren't a lot of opportunities gaurav uh, in terms of the number of independent bookstores yeah which can accommodate this i mean you are an exception right yeah i can't go to uh, every city yeah. or every town yeah and find the bookstore that can actually have the kind of collection yes. that yes. they have yes. uh, have the space for children to come and experience the book um, but i think that if a few people start setting the trend the trend can grow i i really am very optimistic because it's not as if i thought about it before our conversation now as i was thinking and as i used the word picnic and i as i'm sitting in the store i'm feeling if a classroom comes here is it not going to get excited yeah it is, it is I, going to yeah, get of excited. course now until and unless i provide that experience first how can i blame the child for uh, you know going in this direction or that direction you first have to say that okay you know try this as well and see whether you enjoy it yeah and if they enjoy it then they are voluntary uh, consumers of whatever it is that we have to offer yeah. whether it's in the form of books or whether it's in the form of chocolates you know so a book should be as exciting and so for that the experience must first be provided right that i think uh, um, shops like yours uh, it is in our best interest as a society to ensure that shop shops like yours succeed 
and thrive you know going into the uh, i wish people can understand that part no, people will understand you, you i'm i'm more, i'm far more optimistic i know that you are the person who's you know uh, fielding uh, right now but uh, i am very optimistic that this will be uh, this can happen uh, what we need is you know, you know the, a lot the, of collaboration uh, biggest, and ideas uh, you know i feel so bad when my friends who are yeah. into the corporate world yeah. they come and you know whenever they come to lucknow uh-huh. they make it to show that like they meet gorav and chit chat and send the pulse of lucknow and uh-huh. get the feel of lucknow and then they go back so when they come and says yaar yeah gorav itna bada space diya hua books ko uh-huh. isko aadha karke uh, usko usko de do usko de do in house rental milega i feel so bad i said come on these guys don't value books they just see yeah, but, a, a, a why, face. Do, why, why do we look at them why yeah. do you get more influence there are also people who value this. yeah yeah we need to find our energy from there right? yeah yeah so let's let's be optimistic yeah. i mean and, and let's work towards you know ensuring that the optimism can increase increase yeah no i just hope that uh, there are more people who are traveling the country and seeing the feeling the pulse of the booksellers mm-hmm. and uh, i we need more people like you sir who can actually you know uh, go across to booksellers and give them a you know a touch of feel and say don't worry your time is coming back it's like it's just right there on the corner you know yeah. so yes we need more more people like no, we you. need we need to work towards it it's not going to happen if we are uh, if we are uh, if we are too uh, you know casual about it uh, it can be the loss of a legacy yeah yeah i think what we need to do is value the legacy and say that you need to work to maintain any legacy has always had champions and people who work towards yeah, it otherwise yeah. it doesn't get created it doesn't get sustained true that I is totally, the bottom line i, I, I totally know. agree I sir nani no, no, sir what wonderful i think i'm loving this uh, good feel factor today uh-huh. and uh, a, a beautiful friday morning with you with coffee and tea and merging <laughs> together i think this is such a beautiful moment and lo- and what positive vibes from you i i, I think we need more po- positive people at visiting bookshops in giving encouragement to booksellers he boss uh just hang on and uh, good times are just uh, around the corner my positive vibes come from the fact that i'm sitting in your bookstore <laughs> <laughs> namaste thank nee, you nee. so much nee, what a pleasure what a pleasure